Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, and if you're in my JavaScript 1 class, you know that we're using the JavaScript Web Warrior Series textbook. At this time, I thought it would be great to review some of the key HTML and JavaScript terminology that you need going forward. And so I'm going to use the hands-on project 1-2 and 1-4 files just to help review some important key terminology. As far as HTML goes, we have to have a couple pieces of terminology down solid by now. The first is element. An element we often talk of as a tag, but technically the element is the opening tag, the content, and the closing tag. That entire thing constitutes the HTML element. However, we speak about the opening tag and the closing tag much more commonly and we speak about the entire HTML element. Secondly, HTML elements have attributes. Attributes are always followed by an equal sign, and the value of the attribute is always enclosed in quotation marks. So elements have attributes. That language has to be solid before you start diving into JavaScript terminology and laying that on top of HTML. Here in our project 1-2, we were introduced to the script element, otherwise known as the script opening and closing tags, and our first JavaScript statement, which references the document object. The document object is simply the web page itself, and we follow the object name by a period, by a dot, with the method name. A method name is simply something that this object can do. In this case, the object can write the value of the service name variable. And what is service one name? Well, in our opening script, we declared it with the var JavaScript keyword, short for variable. We declared service one name to be a variable. In addition, we set it equal to, with the assignment statement, the string basic. And we know that this is string because it's, it's enclosed in the quotation marks. This variable service one speed we set equal to the number five, which does not need quotation marks. And we're also noticing that we're ending every JavaScript statement with a semicolon. So we use little scripts to insert the text or the number that we wanted in each of these TD table data cells to finish and complete this little table. In hands-on project 1-4, we used some form tags. We used some form elements. Specifically, we used the radio input and used the onClick attribute. Now, I keep calling onClick an event, but it's really both. It's an event attribute. It's a special type of attribute. First and foremost, it is an HTML attribute because look, it's followed by an equal sign and the value is enclosed in quotation marks. But it's different than these other attributes of type ID or name because it's an event attribute. In other words, when this event occurs, when the click occurs, these statements are going to be run. So it's a special type of HTML attribute called an event attribute, or its nickname is just an event. In this case, we have our old friend, the document object, a new method to learn, get element by ID. So the web page is going to get an element by ID. So we're going to look for the ID attribute that's set to street input. Here's our ID attribute set to street input. And we're going to set its value property. And a property is simply a characteristic of that element to one main street. So here's our input text box. Here's its ID of street input. This statement's going to set its value to one main street when this particular radio button is clicked. So I'm going to run, launch this, and when I click that radio button, yes, here's the value property of that input box. Thank you.